Hello YouTube, I'm back. And now, we're gonna make this simple DVD menu into something more complicated. Well, at least it's a little bit better sounding in my head. Anyway, the first thing you can do is to create another menu. Let's go and make it. First, right click on the menu and add menu. Now you created menu 2. Or, if you want to copy it, just copy and paste. Let's delete this one. Yes, we want to delete that. And delete these video buttons. Now, let's de delete this. And let's create a play all button, in which this button tells the DVD to play all the titles. Let's choose a text button for this example. And let's change the font again. You can choose any font. I'm just doing it randomly. Click OK. And let's change the label into Play All. You can change, customize it more, change the text color, the highlighted color, and the selected color. But in this, this is a Play All button. You need to check Play All Titles. Click OK. Now you can basically put it anywhere. Yeah. Now, if some people like to choose a title to play rather than the whole DVD, all I do is create another button. Let's choose this button. Let's choose everything randomly. OK. Let's change this and movies. Change another font. Choose this font. Which is nice. Change the text color to something. Eh, yeah. Click OK. Now, right click this again and change the action of the button into menu 2. So, when you click this button, it goes to the next menu, which is labeled menu 2. Click OK. Now, this is where it gets a little bit trickier. You can also change what title each button. Just like any button DVD styler, you can change the destination of that button. Let's change highlighted color into orange, selected color into something blue. Image opacity tells how opaque the video thumbnail is. Rx and Ry is the radius of how rounded the edges are. Border width is how thick the width of the borders are. Shadow, add shadow, and you can also change the size of that button or I do it manually. Which is very weird on this DVD menu. I got to tell you. Okay. Since maybe this button wouldn't show anything, let's change the image thumbnail. So, let's choose from pictures. So we could have a placeholder. Choose any picture you want. Anyway, Let's create another button to return to the main menu. Let's choose the home button. Double click and change it back to menu 1. You can change the look in any way you want. This is just an example. Mm, it's not seeable. There, much better. Okay. Thinking about the buttons, have you noticed the red outlines in each of the buttons? That means this is where DVD Styler finds where the buttons are aligned with, or the navigation, which you go up, down, and right and left. And as you can see, this button doesn't have anything above it, so automatically it goes to none. And as you C2, see, this button goes to button 2, this button, and on the right it goes to button 3. On the bottom it goes to this button. You can do it manually, but just make sure you know the name of the button. Okay. You can actually add music to the DVD menu. Right click, properties, and change the audio as the video object. Go music. If you want to loop that forever, the music I mean, 
loop the music forever in the video so just in case you want to listen to the menu click here click OK now you can also create video backgrounds what you have to do is right click properties now change the image and let's go to As you can see it only seems to choose only image files just go here and click all files and choosing this now it's better to loop the video just in case now, as you can see this is the thumbnail image for the video in which when you burn the DVD the video will play in the background while it's in still in the menu now what if you want this title to go to this title then after that goes to this title as you can see in the last tutorial the DVD options is called last menu it means it's where the title is that video will go to that menu let's go to play next title so the DVD will say that this title will go to this title afterwards and this title will go to this title etc click OK. or you can do it manually double click on the title and change the post commands like last menu and call menu anyways guys that's basically some parts of DVD style are more complicated and I hope you like it till next time this is new creator and see you later